What's up? What's up guys? Welcome to the video and today we are going to be talking about stretching and I'm going to be showing you a few of my different stretches that I perform before a workout as well as after a workout to improve my overall gains as well as strength in the gym. So let's get into it. So the main reason I stretch is to improve range of motion around a joint. So for example a bench press through stretching, you can go further back with the bar and you can go further up with the bar as well without causing any problems to your joints and it's just stretching your joints out which leads to more muscle mass building and better flexibility in those joints as well. So range of motion would be number one for me. Stretching also helps with blood circulation. So obviously you all know that your blood carries a hell of a lot of nutrients and oxygen inside of it. And through stretching, the blood is dispersed throughout the body to all the different muscles. So it's providing those muscles, nutrients and oxygen. And that obviously helps you function better during a workout and it supports the muscle as well. Thirdly, now this is one of my most important and favorite parts, uh, muscle elongation. So through stretching, you stretch out your actual muscle and it becomes longer. And when it becomes longer, it has more space for it to grow as well, guys. So it leads to, to bigger muscles, if that makes sense. And who doesn't want bigger muscles, right? Everyone wants to be that huge guy, so I recommend you stretch, baby. A lot of you are probably thinking like, oh, I don't know how to stretch and I'm so embarrassed to do it in front of people. And yes, I felt exactly the same way because I had no idea what I was doing. But it's all through trial and error, guys. Practice makes perfect, especially with stretching. When you first start, you'll be pretty rubbish at it like me. And the more you do it, the better you'll get and then the more comfortable you'll become with it. And honestly, it's so damn worth it because not only does it have physical benefits, it also has psychological benefits. Okay, it, it frees your mind of anything. It's almost like yoga, okay? You go into your own space, you black out, and it's such a relax and such a refresher for the mind. I don't know how to explain it. You just gotta try it to see it and you'll friggin' love it, I promise you. Through stretching, your posture will improve and your overall body image will improve as well. You'll just look healthier and you'll feel better and in the long term, you won't have any back injuries because stretching also reduces the chances of injury. So make sure you do it, guys. It only takes five, 10 minutes post or pre-workout session, depending whether it's dynamic or static stretching. I'll tell you the difference between the two, but it's honestly worth it and it'll save you in the long run and it'll only help going further on in life. So let's go to the gym, let's try out a few stretches and let's see how it goes. What's up guys, welcome to the voiceover. So we started this little workout with a nice light walk on the treadmill. So as you can see over here, I've put it up to 6.5 kilometers per hour, very gradual, and 15 degrees in time. Just a nice little five minute walk to begin us with this session. Right, you're gonna need a yoga mat for this session, guys. Uh, obviously, we don't wanna be stretching on a solid ground, so get a yoga mat. Right, we're gonna start off with the dynamic stretches. Dynamic stretches are performed prior to a workout. So this is what we do first. Okay, so we started off with alternating lunges. As you can see, I'm just changing legs as I go. Now I'm incorporating a bit of torso twists into this as well. So not only am I activating my quads with the lunges, but I'm also activating my torso by twisting. So like I said, blood circulation, get the blood pumping around the body. Then we moved on to hip abductors and hip adductors. So abductors being going away from your body and adductors coming into your body. Uh, this is a great way of warming up the hip area. Uh, it's the worst to get an injury there, so make sure that's nice and warm and the muscles around that area are nice and loose. So this is a great bit of a stretch to perform before your workouts. Then we moved on to alternating groin stretches. Now it may look like I'm performing some weird kind of dance over here, but no, I'm not. I'm just stretching out that groin. As you can see, I keep my one leg completely stiff, making sure I really get a proper stretch in that groin, and then I just cross over. Awesome groin stretch. Really, really recommend this one. Then we're doing the hamstring kicks, okay? These are very important, guys. A lot of people complain about having hamstring problems and injuries because we don't stretch them properly. So make sure your hamstrings are nice and loose and ready to go before your session. Then we move on to a few jump squats. Now, you can actually use this as an actual exercise in your session because it is a burner, and I like to kind of end off my session with these just to kill out my quads. But again, it's a quad activa activation uh, stretch, and it gets that blood pumping once again. Really, really recommend this one. Now, moving on to the back. 
uh, and the spine okay the spine is very very important obviously you know how important this is and over here we're just rolling out that spine making sure it's nice and loose and it's not stiff and there's no problems that will be caused because spine injuries are probably the worst injuries you can get then we followed up with some straight leg crossovers now this is targeting the hip flexors once again as well as the groins and i did a variation with this as you can see over here tuck, tuck the legs in and just swing your side to side and this is probably more focused on your hip flexors then moving on to the upper body okay because we hit that chest and hit that bench press so we're doing some straight arm crossovers and this is just activating the chest the arms the shoulders and the whole upper body in general really getting the blood pumping very basic very easy and improves your range of motion as well because that's what it's all about right we want to make sure we have a nice range of motion now moving on to static stretching this is performed after the workout okay this is when the workout is done so i'll get a yoga mat and i'll sit down and the first thing i'll do is perform a groin stretch then i will try and target my hamstrings okay and as you can see over here my flexibility isn't great but i am touching my toe and if you can't touch your toe just go as far as possible making sure that leg is nice and straight because we want to stretch out those hamstrings as best as possible then we moved on to a stretch that I like to call a groin hip flexor stretch. So you can see I'm leaning forward over my left leg and then over my right leg over here. The shape of your body is almost as a swastika, the German flag. That's, uh, you know, we don't really want to talk about that because it's a touchy subject, but that's what it kind of looks like. And now I'm leaning back, which focuses more on the hip flexor. Awesome, awesome stretch. Moving on to the upper body, we're stretching up the chest now. I like to target three different angles with a stretch uh, because the chest muscle is separated into two muscles so you get the upper chest and the lower chest and that stretch targets all three basically then moving on to some tricep and shoulder stretch uh, as you can see what I'm doing with my assisting arm is slowly going down the arm making sure that the stretch is becoming tighter and tighter very important to stretch out that upper body then moving on to more of a shoulder isolation stretch uh, because after a shoulder workout, we want to make sure that we have nice and loose muscles. There's no stress on those shoulders because they're so damn important for those overhead presses, right? Then I, what I like to do is, this is not a very well-known stretch, but I've done it recently. I get a jump box and I just put my shoulders over it, stretching out the shoulders as much as possible, almost trying to elevate that range of motion. Then finally, the chest isolation stretch. Again, three different targets in this. And that's about it, guys. Awesome. Enjoy the video. Right guys, I'm back home now after a good, solid workout, as well as a stretch. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys learned something about stretching and I hope I convinced you that stretching is actually beneficial. I hope I've given you a few ideas of how to stretch and different kind of stretches for particular muscles. So, I'm just gonna chow my, my meal because there's nothing like a meal after a workout. There's my bad boy over there. She doesn't look too great to be honest. But hey, it is what it is. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a sick ass week and I'll check you in about three or four days. Cheers guys.